And that would be Mr. Richard Pryor. Shut up, fool! Everybody got time for more Richard Pryor today? I don't see you better faces on the eye down, Bobby. Somebody told me that I got 10 minutes. For 10 minutes? You're talking to the kids, baby. I don't care what you say, 10 minutes ain't no time for me. I need my time back and hold me stop. 10 minutes. Every time I turn around, somebody trying to get me off stage because they don't like what I say. But in the meantime, boy, you better get yourself some, some more things to say about the, the first lady, though. I ain't playing. I ain't lying. No kind of way. Gather hell to die on this sorrowful occasion to say goodbye to the devil in the pocket. He was daily and he has departed. Thus, that's why we call him the daily departed. In other words, the dead. As you can see, I'm lying here. So I've been here three days, the boy ain't moved the muscle, so I know he did. <laughs> and it seems the death was quite a surprise to his ass. Didn't think he was ever going to die, did you? Yeah, I told you about that muscle around him, didn't you? However, he faced the ultimate test as each man and woman must eventually face the ultimate test. And the ultimate test is, let me repeat that. The ultimate test is whether or not you can survive death. That's all tough for your hands, ain't it? So far, nobody we know have passed the ultimate test. Least of all, this dude laying him. And I'm going to tell you, he wasn't shit. I saw him kicking his mama's ass over there on 42nd Street. And if you think we're going to bag you with them diamonds and shit on, you got another thing coming. Uh, I think that suffices enough. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You've been wonderful.